Hey, Key, I just finished Acolyte. I thought the Sith were extinct for a thousand years, you lying mother... So, is Star Wars dead? Um, not yet. I don't think it is yet. But if stuff doesn't change in the next five years, I would say, I think Star Wars might become a dead franchise. Maybe we'll get a few a show every few years. Maybe we'll get a game. That's the most likely thing that'll continue on because that usually does well for Star Wars. It'll stay in their theme parks, Galaxy's Edge and stuff. That'll be there for the next 20 years. Star Tours. But, um... As far as like a big movie IP, I fear Star Wars might be over with. You might ask, why are you saying that? Which, first of all, no one's asking that because everyone knows why. We just got through The Acolyte, which is a terrible show. Really bad, very bad writing. The acting is, holy crap, terrible. I don't know how they cast those people. Um, and that's coming from someone who doesn't hate Star Wars. So before we get into it, I think the best thing to do is break down the different tiers of Star Wars fans because there's probably like four or five different kind of Star Wars fans. Starting off we have the true Star Wars fans. We have all those YouTubers out there who just make videos on in-world explanations. So like Star Wars Explained, he's gonna just tell you about what happened in the show, how it connects to the Star Wars universe. He has, he leaves all the politics out of it. Maybe he hates the show, maybe he loves it, You'll never know because he's just going to talk about, oh yeah, well, what can this lead to? That's a real Star Wars fan. So, I mean, I, you have to give props to those people. It might be a little frustrating to watch it sometimes because, y yeah, I mean, you can't say some of the stuff's good when it's not. But, um, you know, that that's one kind of Star Wars fan. Those are probably the rarest now. I'd say that's under 10%, maybe under 5% of Star Wars fans. Then I would say the vast majority where I would put myself, maybe a Star Wars YouTuber like Star Wars Theory, probably like 60%, 65% of Star Wars fans, they love Star Wars, but they're willing to give up that criticism. Like The Acolyte, I'm not going to just say that show's good. It's not. It's terrible. And if the Star Wars is going to keep making shows like that, then they shouldn't make any shows because I don't want to watch that. I mean, it was that bad. Just like Book of Boba Fett. Book of Boba Fett's probably worse. Mandalorian Season 3 is just as bad. So, um, yeah. <laughs> that That's another one. So we got one, two. Those are our two types of Star Wars fans right now. And then the third are just all these Star Wars YouTubers right now who are just hating on Star Wars. And then there's a bunch of people that are like this that just hate Star Wars. And it's because of its politics. It's not even because of Star Wars. People who have never watched Star Wars in their life are hopping on right now to just hate on Star Wars because of all the political, uh, uh, whatever, allies of that Disney is. I don't want to get into that because I don't give a shit about politics. I really don't. So, But it, that's the truth. People are hopping on just to hate Star Wars because it's owned by Disney. To hate it because of what's happening specifically in the show. So yeah, the, the, those are your kind of three big Star Wars kinds of fans. And the third ones are not Star Wars fans, so I, don't, I wouldn't even classify them as such. They're just, they do it for views, they do it for attention, they do it because they hate Disney, they hate what Disney believes in, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's um, definitely the most toxic part of Star Wars, but I think that's the smallest part of it. Um, that's under 10% as well. Um, that's... It's very common to see on YouTube right now because that's what gets the views. You know, I respect the hustle to all those YouTubers. It's easy to hop on and just shit on a show. You don't even have to watch the episode. I mean, that's the funniest thing. A lot of these people probably haven't even watched the episodes of Acolyte. You just hop on, you read a quick article about what happens in it, you watch a few other videos of people hating on it, and then you could just replicate that. Be like, yep, Acolyte, Acolyte is the most woke show ever. It is terrible. And um, yeah, that's kind of what people are doing. They're just doing it for the views, which don't get me wrong. I don't want to like double back on what I'm saying. The Acolyte sucks. It's probably one of the worst shows I've ever watched. Every moment during it, me and my girlfriend watch it together. We just laugh the whole way through. I mean, it is that terrible. So don't get me wrong on that aspect. But just hating Star Wars, just to hate Star Wars, just to get views, that is old and um, it, it's annoying. And, um, yeah, that, that's kind of my viewpoint on that. But let's really get into, like, the reasons that this is all happening. So the first reason that everyone wants to say that Star Wars is currently bad is because it's woke. Because it's pushing an agenda. Which, it's not true. This show is bad because it, um, 
it's bad. It's bad storytelling. It's bad acting. I'm sorry, but Amanda Stenberg, she is a bad actor. I, I think she's a really bad actor. Um, there's a lot of actors where I go and watch movies, and I'm like, God, how how are they an actor? Kind of like Sydney Sweeney. When I first saw Sydney Sweeney, I was like, she is a terrible actor. I have no idea. Well, I mean, people know why she's <laughs> famous, but um, the first time I saw her was um, in Anyone But You. I think it was a movie called, and she was terrible. I mean, I thought her acting was horrible. It was very cringy. It kind of reminds me of Amanda Stenberg. She's um she's not a good actor, actress, but um maybe she'll do better in the future. In this show, though, she's I mean, it's hard to judge her on you know off one show. I've never seen her in anything else. Not sure if she's been in anything else. But based on this, oh actually she was she's Rue in um in Hunger Games, which there she was great. So. You know, maybe it's just hit or miss with our 50-50. The biggest issue right now with Star Wars, though, is that it's just giving bad stories. It's writing, it's giving us stuff we don't, no one wants to see. Not Star, not any of those three Star Wars fans, no one wants to see the Acolyte. No one asked for a story like that. Everyone wanted to watch something in that time period. We all wanted to see a Sith in that time period doing menacing stuff, but that's not what we got. So same thing as Book of Boba Fett. I mean, seeing Boba Fett is cool, you know, everyone wants to see him, but even when they first announced that show, I really wasn't that excited. After I saw him in Mandalorian, I was like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> this guy is, he is, I do not want to see him. They made him weak, they made him a good guy, that's not what Boba Fett had ever been. That's kind of Disney, Star Wars' signature move, is making all of our legacy characters weak and old and, and useless, and then they die. I mean, like Luke. Luke became weak and useless. He did nothing. He caught the whole empire reversed on him, and um, it was all his fault. Same thing as Indiana Jones. It's you know same. It's still Lucasfilm. Um, he like was weak in the last film. I mean, we saw him in all the other movies. It all ended well. Nothing was bad. But then in this movie, it's all back to normal. Or turned around i mean he's not even with marion anymore yes he had a son yes the son died blah 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 blah, blah. but who i mean why that, that movie should have just started off indiana jones the dial of destiny the one that came out 2022 2023 whichever it should have started off instantly with indiana jones um doing something cool like immediately we jump right in and he's stealing some artifact he's recovering something get us right back in the action a great example would be deadpool and wolverine i just watched it not going to give any spoilers but the opening scene was like i was like oh my god instantly it grabs your attention kind of like twisters i just watched that movie the other day it starts off again i won't do any spoilers but it just draws you in instantly that's what um these movie shows need is something that's just going to draw us in. Not like Acolyte that just is a bore fest. The first episode was was horrible. The second episode I thought was a considerable amount better than the first episode. And then the third episode dropped off again. But um that second episode, I'm not going to lie, at the end of it I was I was interested. I thought cuz who knows what was going to happen. I thought maybe the master was going to be Pelagus. Maybe it would have been super cool. So by the second episode of Acolyte, they did okay. First episode was terrible, though. I almost didn't want to watch the second episode. Then you get to the third episode, and all the hype was gone that I had, and then after that, I knew the show was going to suck. I'm kind of bouncing all over the place, but that's kind of what Disney Star Wars does, which Star Wars in general is doing. I don't even need to call it Disney Star Wars, because Disney's probably going to own Star Wars until it's done, because um, they want to sell the toys. Toys will always sell. If you put Darth Vader figures up, those will always sell. Yoda, Baby Yoda will always sell. Grogu is probably one of the biggest plush sells currently. He's probably up there with like Pokemon. He's so popular. So Disney's making money off Star Wars. It's just ruining it for all the fans. And eventually, the fans will stop watching their shows and stuff. And then they'll just stop making it. But they'll keep on with their toys, keep on with their parks. We don't want to see that. But I really doubt star wars will ever be sold by disney it's very unlikely who knows that would be a big deal i mean they bought it for five billion like 20 years ago maybe not 20 years ago it was 2012 or 2010 almost 20 years ago 15 years ago we'll say so by now with all the stuff they've done it's probably worth less <laughs> but no seriously it's probably worth a good you know 50 million 50 billion sorry the whole purpose of this video isn't really to get into like 
the you know the individual reasons why Star Wars is failing. There's so many. I mean, it's bad storytelling, like I said, stuff that we don't want to see, bad acting, and so on. But I feel that what's really tearing Star Wars apart is the fan stuff that I mentioned. Like, Star Wars is just all about politics now. <laughs> it's it's insane to even say that because when it first started off, it's like it was nothing about that. Like. And even in most of it, it's nothing. And just recently, now it's like, it's all politics. Um, I hate Star Wars because I believe in this. These are my politics. I love Star Wars because it's my politics. It's it's kind of crazy that it's coming down to that because it's it's a movie. They're movies. They're TV shows. It's um it's ridiculous. So I'll never get into all that stuff. I'll, I mean, because I can't even, I can't even like correlate with that. I have... My political opinions don't matter. I don't really have any. Like I said, I don't care. But um, to associate that with like a TV show is is truly insane. But again, they do it for views. Like all these YouTubers, those are the majority of people <laughs> who um who have those feelings. There's people who have that feelings as well. But a lot of them are just hopping on YouTube and just spreading those views because it gets views, and it's a smart way to get views. Again. Like, I, I need to keep saying this just so people aren't like, oh my god, he likes Acolyte. Acolyte is terrible. But these people, they're saying like, oh, Andor sucked. Andor was just okay. Rogue One, pff, yeah. No, they're saying that nothing Disney has ever made, any Disney Star Wars they've ever done is good. They say it's all bad. Season 7 of Clone Wars, eh. Rebels, eh. And that is insane. Like, I'm, I'm like, yeah, the sequel sucked. Season 3 of Mandalorian sucked. Uh, what else do we have? Um, Acolyte obviously sucked. Book of Boba Fett sucked. Ahsoka was okay. Not too bad. Um, Tales of the Jedi was amazing the first season. And then, um, yeah, so it's, it's hit or miss. It's hit or miss. Like, there's some great things. Like, Rogue One is awesome. Andor, one of the best TV shows I've ever watched. It is so good. I, the, in fact, there's people saying it's bad really kind of proves my point that people are just hating it because it's Disney, because it's Star Wars. They want to hate it just because it gets views, because other people will come and watch it. People want to see what they have to say for whatever reason. So, um, yeah, th th those are people. <laughs> it's like The people who are hating on Acolyte, they have hated on every single thing. Even in their videos, they're like, yeah, Star Wars hasn't made a single good thing since the Clone Wars show in 2008, is pretty much what they're saying. And, um, yeah, I, I couldn't disagree anymore. There's been a lot of great things that have come out. Mandalorian Season 1 and 2, those were great. I'm trying to think. <laughs> Obi-Wan was bad. Obi-Wan sucked. What else do we have? Solo was pretty good. Solo movie. That wasn't bad. Wasn't great. But, um, it definitely wouldn't have, it definitely didn't have that much controversy. It was, it came out and people were like, yeah, that was good. That was a good movie. It wasn't great, but it was like, yeah. <laughs> Every, everyone just wants to compare it to the old Star Wars, which, uh, yeah, it should be that good. That I agree on, but um, just the excuses for why this stuff's bad, it, it's not there. But to another point, is Disney maybe adding in some kind of agenda or whatever? Probably. They, they probably are. Why they would do that, I have genuinely no idea. Um, because it's all about making money for a company. I mean, all everyone they have a, everyone that has a job. You can look towards your company's goal. Uh, any company's goal is, is to make money. It's to be successful. It's to not go under. So, everyone thinking that Disney is some like philanthropist company that wants to like include everyone and all this stuff. Um, I don't really buy it. People and they're saying like, oh, it's going to expand their market. That's not true. So. Who really knows what's going on there? Um, I, I know Disney doesn't want... <laughs> Disney's main objective is to not be inclu inclusive. I guarantee that. I could bet a million dollars on that. Their number one goal is to make money. So, I'm sure we're going to see some changes coming soon in Disney leadership. Because like because of the reasons I just said. If if they're going to stop making money, then, then they're going to have to make a decision. And they're going to fire someone. Because Disney's always been like that. All of Disney has always been about their, like, their image. So, like, when anyone comes out and says something bad about Disney, it's kind of like, I don't, I don't even have an example, but, like, some third world country where you can't say anything bad about the government. You say something bad about the government, you're gone the next day. You disappear. That's kind of what Disney's like. 
Um, they want to have like a very good image. So all of this stuff that's going towards their image, it's it's bad PR. And I think there's going to be some stuff changing soon. But even then, I'm telling you, even when Disney makes, when Star Wars makes a great project, when a great movie comes out, people are still going to hate on it. There's still going to be people loving it. There's still going to be people in the middle. That That's kind of just what the Star Wars Star Wars is broken up to. I don't want to say fans because that third that third tier of fans, they're not fans. They really aren't. Another thing I want to touch up on a little bit, kind of I mentioned earlier, is Star Wars video games because they have been great so far. We've got the two Jedi, um, Star Wars Fallen Order, Jedi, whatever they're called. Those were great with Cal Kestis. I've played through two of them. As soon as I got it, I couldn't stop playing them. Played them until I beat the whole game. They're decent. They give you a lot of um, time. They give you... They're great games. I mean, I don't know. They're really fun. The stories are awesome. Especially the first one. I think the first one was a little better than the second one. The first one was amazing. One of the best games I've played, honestly. Um, and then coming up, we have Outlaws. Outlaws, who knows if it's going to be good. From the trailers and stuff, it looks okay. Um, it could be amazing, though. It could be terrible. We'll have to see on that. I'm confident it's going to be pretty decent, though, because Star Wars has been pretty solid on games. Before those, we had Battlefront 2. Started off bad, but ended up being really great. Battlefront, um, the one before that, was also pretty good. Star Wars has done pretty good. Then you have The Force Unleashed, which those were made whilst Disney owned Star Wars, but they aren't made by Disney. They're made by other companies. It's kind of like a lease. They're being leased out, the IP. So um, maybe we'll see more of that in the future too. Maybe Disney will like allow another studio to, I doubt ever tackle TVs or movies, but the games you'll keep seeing, you know, other companies will keep doing that. LucasArts doesn't really, I don't even know if it's a thing. I think they disbanded it. So, but Disney games, Disney video games are kind of carrying the, the franchise right now. They're doing really well. So um, that part, that aspect of Star Wars is still alive for sure. Outlaws is a, pretty important thing honestly if it tanks we probably won't see another single player star wars game until well, well i'm sure we'll get jedi 3 with cal Kestis because those ones have done so well but after that i'm sure single player will drop off which a, a multiplayer star wars game would be massive if we get a battlefront 3 that would be huge for the star wars franchise because video games are huge that's what kids play if you can get kids on those then they'll love star wars and they'll watch the shows so video games, honestly, a really smart way for the games to franchise, not um, for the franchise to fran. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When when st it's a great way for Star Wars to grow. So I'm sure we'll see a Battlefront three coming up soon, which which will be awesome. Anyways, uh, I think I've rambled enough. Uh, I appreciate you watching all the way through this video. I just think it was important to come out and say a lot of people aren't bringing out my view. I think I've heard a few people say similar things, but no one like exactly what I'm thinking, which. I have an idea that I'm speaking for a pretty big majority of the fans that is like it, it, everyone is being so radical it's like no the show sucks let's move on let's see another show let's see if that one's gonna be better um, everyone takes everything so seriously like I said though people I respect the hustle people are probably making a living off hating just hating Star Wars um, maybe I'll throw up a few channels on the screen here of um, it's just all hate for Star Wars and it's hilarious it's really funny how it's like that extreme, but um, that's just the world we live in right now. But um, yeah, the current state of Star Wars, I would give it a 3 out of 10. We are at a 3 out of 10 on Star Wars. The video games are doing great. The TV shows are terrible. And we haven't had a movie since 2019. It's been five years since we've had a movie. And supposedly we're going to be getting one in 2024. Or is it 2026? We're either getting the Ray movie in 2025, 2026, which, believe it or not, I think it could be okay um, if they set it up well, because they could, that could set up a whole new trilogy. I think it, let's say it takes place 50 years later. Ray is an old lady now. I'm sure it won't be that long because it'll probably still be Daisy Ridley playing, and she's not going to play an old lady. But that would be awesome. They could set up a brand new like conflict Jedi Order. Hopefully, they don't bring the Empire back. But, um, yeah, like I said, uh, enough rambling. I uh, appreciate watching the video. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the current state of Star Wars. It's pretty rough, especially the fandom. That's kind of what's tearing everything apart mostly and bad storytelling. It's a little bit of both. But um, that's it for this video, and I appreciate you being part of my nerdy galaxy.